everybody. This is our shark celebration at Previews and Reviews. I'm your host Hayden Smalling and today I'm going to be talking about Deep Blue Sea. Minor spoilers ahead. Deep Blue Sea is one of those films that feels like a conglomeration of several other movies. This feels like a mix between Jaws and Jurassic Park and the movie Poseidon. Uh, if you haven't seen Poseidon, it's an awesome movie. Definitely check it out. I'll do a review on that at some point. It's one of my favorite disaster movies. But basically, it's Jaws as far as sharks go, but the sharks are basically water velociraptors because of how smart they are. And they're not great white sharks. They're actually mako sharks that have just been supersized, which I can appreciate. Um, but... I mean, this movie had things I really liked about it, things I enjoyed. I enjoyed Samuel L. Jackson's performance. Um, I enjoyed a lot of the uh, actors. Um, but there's a lot of moments in this movie that I took issue with, largely because they were kind of blasphemous. Um, like, you know, there was one point where the guy, they call him Preach uh, in the movie, he and two of the other survivors are, like, waiting for the water to fill up or whatever, and they're you know, saying a prayer or whatever and preach, he just drops an F-bomb <laughs> in the in his prayer. And, like, he's he's constantly, you know, you know, talking to God, like, all right, I get it, I'll quit drinking. Like, like is this what you, is this what I get for drinking? Talking about the flooding and the sharks and, um, and just all the, the different um, kind of, blasphemous things that characters will say throughout the movie uh g the you know the gd phrase um all that stuff so i wasn't a big fan of the script as far as dialogue was concerned um that was a, really a prominent issue for me other than that though i actually found this movie really enjoyable um it, i think it's actually aged pretty decently i mean a lot of the practical shark effects looked fantastic, um, and a lot of the CGI didn't look too bad, especially, you know, having been years since it was made. Um, so I, I found this movie fun. I would give it about uh, two and a half film reels, um, just accounting for the fact that it really pulls from a lot of different films, and it's really easy to see what films it pulls from. Um, so it takes away some of the originality of the script and, you know, everything that was done. I will say the set design was probably one of my favorite things. The set design and the water effects, because you can tell they use mostly practical water effects and they look great. As far as popcorn is concerned, I can only give it three popcorn buckets. There's some areas where it gets slow. There's some Areas where I find myself not at all caring about the characters. Like, it, it's entertaining enough if you're looking for a good shark movie. Um, but don't expect it to just have you on the edge of your seat the whole time. As far as an age range would go, I've got to recommend it for, you know, young adults and up. Maybe teenagers. Um, it's just, but I wouldn't want young people replicating a lot of the dialogue that they hear in this movie. Anyways, this has been Previews and Reviews. I'm going to be doing shark movies, like I said in the last video, all week long. Um, kind of celebrating sharks in our ocean and everything with Discovery Channel with their Shark Week and National Geographic with their Shark Fest. We haven't really came up with a name for it on this channel. Um, but, you know, so if you have any ideas for Shark Week type themed names, let us know down in the comments below. And maybe that's what we'll call it next summer. Anyways, I hope you are enjoying these videos. Uh, let me know how your summer is going. What other shark movies do you recommend? Uh, what's your favorite shark movie? And what's your favorite shark movie that's not Jaws, if Jaws is your favorite? Um, but let us know in the comments down below. And God bless.